Wide Awake was written and directed by M. Night Shyamalan, and it's one of the few Shyamalan films I haven't reviewed on my channel. The other one is Praying With Anger, which doesn't really have an official release, and I have seen the film because of a VHS rip, and that's not really on the up and up, and so I can't really review it, but I will one day if it ever gets an official release. Until then, Wide Awake is the last Shyamalan film I've never talked about, so let's do it. The film came out in 1998, and it follows a 10-year-old boy named Joshua who's going on a search for God after his grandfather dies. He goes to a Catholic school for boys, and so he's surrounded by religion constantly. One of his favorite teachers, Sister Terry, is played by Rosie O'Donnell. She loves to use baseball analogies when she's trying to teach class. This film went through a lot of production issues, namely in post-production. While watching the beautiful, calming, soothing, family-oriented opening credits were instantly greeted with, oh fucking god. Harvey Weinstein, the shit-stained monster himself, produced this film, and according to everyone involved, was a nightmare. Shyamalan said that he recut the movie after he shot it. Uh, Rosie O'Donnell said that he called her a slew of profanity in front of a lot of people and made Shyamalan break down and cry when he told him that he shouldn't work in Hollywood, he, he wasn't up to it, and he would never be up to it, and just give up and all that bullshit. Strangely, Harvey Weinstein is in jail now, and Shyamalan has made some of the most successful movies of all time, so sometimes stories do have a happy ending. But to indicate how much trouble the film went through in post-production, it was shot in 1995. It wasn't even released until 1998, so clearly there were issues, and I can only venture a guess that it was probably because they wanted to make a very fun, lighthearted film for kids and families that had some spiritual undertones to it, obviously, but Shyamalan probably wanted to make a film, and his movie is a lot more ponderous and far more adult than most kids' films like this. And sometimes that's to the film's detriment because kids in this movie don't really talk like kids. Granted, these are kids in a Catholic school for boys, and so it's a lot more strict, and the environment is sort of conducive to that type of language, and they speak like adults. And so there is sort of an excuse for them to sound so much more adult than they are, but at the same time, there are scenes where kids are just talking, and you're like, kids don't talk like that, man. Because sometimes they're out of school, and they're, they're playing, and... They're just having a good time. They're not looking over their shoulder every two seconds to make sure one of the teachers doesn't slap them with a ruler. And even then, they still sound way too adult. So that's a, an issue with this movie. And sometimes Shyamalan's films can take themselves a little too seriously and his dialogue can feel a bit unapproachable. And Wide Awake suffers from that. What's the matter? I think I'm having a biological reaction. What? And strangely, early on in Shyamalan's career, Wide Awake was viewed as a bit of an embarrassment his worst film by far. But after films like The Last Airbender and After Earth, Wide Awake is actually kind of refreshing. It feels like a real film. It feels like Shyamalan is really trying to say something. One of the reasons I never reviewed this film before, because I reviewed every Shyamalan film that I hadn't reviewed before The Visit came out, was because I felt like I couldn't really talk about this movie and how I feel about it, uh, unless I was honest about my upbringing, and now that I've been very open about being raised a Jehovah's Witness and how I left that faith and all the shit that came with that, it's a lot easier for me to discuss a movie about a kid who's dealing with a crisis of faith, because I fully understand that. And by the way, I just want to say I have read so many comments and tweets and messages and emails and all kinds of just, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support, and I am I'm just floored by by it, and it, it made my my whole life. Thank you so much for listening, for understanding, for getting it, and and just being fucking real about it. Thank you, I love it. I love you guys. On with the review. <laughs> and young Joseph Cross is really good as Joshua, a kid who, when his grandfather dies feels that he has to go on a mission to find God and ask him why things like this happen. I find that very fascinating, especially for a kid's movie. It's a, a lot more heavy-handed than you might expect. There's a lot of sad scenes and very real conversations. There's a lot of really serious fucking dialogue for these, like, grade school age kids. And while at times it can be a little unnatural. I have to admire Shyamalan for taking a swing like this so early in his career. I would say my biggest issue with the film is that it can get very sappy sometimes. A little bit melodramatic and corny. There's a lot of long hugs with soaring music 
And sometimes it just, you don't really feel it. Julia Stiles is in the film as well, one of her earliest roles. And Dana Delaney, who I just want to say is like the best Lois Lane ever. That's just a side point. I'm just saying it's true. I mean, you can say whatever you want, but she's fucking amazing as Lois Lane. And Andrea Beaumont in Mask of the Phantasm. That's some that's some good voice work. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying, man. Rosie O'Donnell as Sister Terry surprises me in this film. She's actually really good. She's very likable, and she is that type of teacher figure that every kid wishes they had. Just somebody that could very easily inspire you to make the right choices, and, and they don't feel like they're forcing you. They're just showing you that there are things you can do in life that are meaningful, and it makes sense when they talk about it. Post-production issues aside, I don't really think Shyamalan should be embarrassed by this movie, especially since it was so early in his career. Is it as good as his other films? No, it's not. He clearly hadn't quite figured out exactly what he wanted to say and do, but as a film, it, it does feel like a director and, and a writer in this case is really trying to make something that feels different from other family entertainment that explores spirituality. One of the bigger missteps in the film, though, and I'm going to avoid spoilers because I'm assuming that a lot of you haven't seen this film, Shyamalan unfortunately confirms certain things where ambiguity might have been better. Besides that, Wide Awake is fine. It's, it's not that bad at all. It's got good performances. There's some really nice cinematography. And even though there's clearly a lot of post-production issues, I don't consider this film to be an embarrassment, perhaps the way the director does. I'm going to give Wide Awake a B-. minus. But I also want to give a big thank you to the sponsor for this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people, explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you, and it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. I would highly recommend checking out the classes Low Budget Filmmaking, Tips and Tricks for an Indie Look, taught by Maddie Brown, and Cinematography Basics, Understanding Filmmaking Style, taught by Zach Mulligan. In my experience, classes like this are very enjoyable because folks on this platform, they just cut to the chase. They tell you what you need to know. They make it very fun and enjoyable to learn. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to check out the link in the description below will get a free premium membership so you can explore your creativity. So please do check out Skillshare. That link is in the description below. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for watching. As always, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.